home and play at home a game. Yep, yep, most definitely. Um, lots to dissect from it. Um, I'll have to watch the video before I start making proper comments, but not happy. Another defeat at home. Um, another two goals conceded at home. Um, yeah, a lot of work to be done, Jim. But nine games in, um, they're dwindling away. You know, I, I said the first ten, I'm looking at um, what could possibly be my best 11 on a consistent basis. And again, today there's been a few things thrown up in the air because uh, OK with some things, disappointing with others. And it was a strange game in many ways. At times, we seem to be in the ascendancy. We seem to be more or less bossing things. Yep. And then at other times, they got in the ascendancy. And games often do pan out like that. But it was it, we didn't seem to really dominate for long enough. Well, you see that the two sending offs makes more room on the pitch, and you've got to use that. You know, ten v ten. I felt we'd done okay, but then we got impatient when we couldn't find that pass that we wanted. So rather than keeping it, we forced it gave them the ball back um, and that happened on too many occasions now it's difficult to pinpoint a lot that I want to say now because I want to watch the video before I make myself look stupid but there's a lot of things there that we can do better um, and we will do better and we just like just got to get on with it like today would have been a massive thing for our fans if they'd been here to help us and I, I haven't said that a lot but today I think it would have done especially when it was 10 v 10 they would have sucked it in there, but listen, I won't take it away. They've, they've scored a good goal. Do you know what? I, I, I turned around to one of my colleagues on the board and I said, and it was about 20 minutes into the second half, and mm. I said, do you know what we need here? We need fans behind that goal. Yeah, well, we had you, get, you get that atmosphere, it's getting you dark. Do. You and do, and we had all, a lot of the ball then. Yeah. Um, and like I say, we just made, made another error um, higher up the pitch where, where um, we tried to win the ball, and they broke a great bit of interplay, and then they put it in the back of the net. Mm. So... I don't think it was a game of chances again. I think they've hit the post with one and then they've had the goal. Um, we've had a couple of half chances, I think. So, um, a bit annoyed that I had to take Tommy Wood off. It's nothing against Splatty, but Wood is a big part for us. But he's been in the booking and watching the rest performance in the first half. Um, I had to do that uh, to protect him because he was on the booking. And their manager said the same about their left back. He wished he'd bought him off because one, one thing that he'd done, Cal got in front of him, he clipped him, he's gone over, second yellow. So, like I say, that, that, that was forced upon me, that. So, Alex Acrofi wasn't fit today. Uh, not 100% fit. Could have brought him on with five to go. But again, that's sort of like taking a, uh, a big part of him missing Tuesday if he'd come on and something happened today. So, Jason Williams injured. Um, yeah, so, so there's one or two big players missing still. Yeah, there, there is, there is yeah. but I'm not looking for excuses. No, 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 I'm no, just no, no. telling you why they weren't playing it, it, and why it, they didn't play. It's useful for the fans to know. Yeah, that, right, and, and that's the reason. Yeah. Um, so hopefully Alex is fit and raring to go on Tuesday. Um, but we'll have to see what happens over the weekend with, with his injury. So it's it was tough um, when I only had two real fit players to come on. Um, but we go again. You know what I mean? It's... Uh, I think it's Concord on Tuesday night, isn't Concord it? On Tuesday, um, yep. So they're still coming along thick and fast. We, we've, got, we've got to start winning some games. You know, it's, it's all right going away and doing the glory games of your Ebbs Fleets, your Chelmsfords, and beating your Billerickies to get you a bit of history. But as I've always said, we need consistency. And uh, we'll work hard to get that consistency. Might not happen now, might not happen Tuesday. But it will happen, as we proved at the end of last season. Oh. We'll get that consistency, and then, and then we'll start climbing the table. I've got to ask you about uh, Tom Beer's dismissal. What do you think about that? I've seen the clip of it. The referee told me it was for violent conduct. Um, I've seen it. I don't think Tom leaves the ground. He slides in. He is late, yes. But is it late for a red card or late for a yellow? Um, again, I'll look at it in slow motion. I've only seen it replayed quickly. Um, but it's one of those. The rest made a decision. Um, and he was very quick to get it out. Um, it's, it's a bit of... Uh, history with us anyway so I'm not going to say too much but that's the second one in two games this season again for us but again like I say he's gone in he is late he is late the ball as a bloke touched the ball and started to go Biro slid in took him but is it violent conduct as he said is it is it a, a knee high challenge like was suggested I don't think so but again I'll watch it in slow motion before we decide what we're going to do with that one OK well thanks very much indeed Steve thank you cheers Jim Well, Kyle, where do you think that went wrong as a team today? Just 
think we were unlucky to be honest. Uh, the sending off in the first half, I don't think it helped us. But obviously it evened up after. But yeah, just just unlucky really today. Uh, and lots of incidents in the game. Um, and I mean, sort of the, the end of the game, they have an outfield player in goal, and you got that make changes things a little bit. You know, sort of, you were trying to find sort of fast shots at him, wasn't it? But um, very eventful game, wasn't it? In many respects. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was one for the one for the fans really. But we're just disappointed in there. Like everyone's just down. But we pick ourselves up and we go again on Tuesday. Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, your, your own form um, lately, you got our um, Twitter man of the match today. We know consolation, obviously, um, with a defeat, but with three wide players at the club, how do you feel the competition's going between the three of you? Is it yeah. bringing the best out of you all? Yeah, I think it helps. It makes me want to work harder on, you know, because, like Gaffer said, no one's spots guaranteed in the team, so you've got to kind of try and keep your shirt the best, of, the best way you can. And so I've just been, like, grafting, working hard, really. And just any one of us can play it. Like all of us are, are good enough. We've all played this level, mm. like got experience. So yeah, like we just all push each other really. Home. So waiting for our first league home win. Although we've got three very good away wins um, this season. Is that anything to do with the fans? What are the differences between home and away at the moment? Uh, I like playing with the fans. Everyone does. But do, yeah. it's no. Uh, we can't use that as an excuse. Really, we haven't been good at home. We'll change that on Tuesday because we'll go and we'll work hard and we'll get a reaction and that's what we'll do. Last year, last year it was the other way around. We was, you know, good at home and it's just about getting that balance. So yeah, we'll go again Tuesday, Concord, and we'll give them a good game. Hmm. Let's talk about some of the incidents in the um, uh, in the game today. Yeah. Um, I, I suppose one of them is, is Biro's red card. I mean, you, you, you'd have all, you've seen him at half time as well. Yeah. We'll have to have a look, a few looks at it to decide whether it was the right decision or not up in the in, in the media tower. What, what, what's your feeling on it? Um, I, I, I think it was a bit harsh, to be honest. I think it's a yellow at most. Mm. You know, he's, he's, he's taken the man down, but that's hap that happens all the time, and mm. you know, people get yellows. It's just, it was just unfortunate. And then I think the ref just evened it out after. I think he maybe felt a bit guilty or whatever. Mm. I don't know, but do you think theirs was harsh? It was on me, so I know. <laughs> I, that's what, yeah, yeah, that's um, what you'd know. <laughs> yeah, no, he just clipped me as I ran past him. Yeah. and obviously it's just fortunate that it was him. But you knew he had a yellow, so it's worth running he, at him. Yeah, I knew. I knew that. Because he kind of gave me a tug before, yeah. so I knew he'd kind of be clumsy and stuff, and I knew he was scrambling. So I thought, let me just run across him and see what happens. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's clipped me. Fortunate for me. Yeah. Um, their penalty that, again. Anything contentious in that, or was that fair? I actually didn't see it, so I was. Um, I, I didn't actually see it, but um, everyone was saying, you know, people were saying it was, people were saying it wasn't, and you know, to be fair to them, they dispatched it. So <laughs> we just kind of have to pick up ourselves and go again, really. Mm. And then they won the game with that goal, what, eight minutes or so from the end, which is a yeah. decent strike, but horrible to see. Horrible. Um, <laughs> it was harsh on us as well, because I think we've all like, worked our socks off today, you know, even down to the last minute, you know. Mm. So, yeah, it was harsh, but we pick ourselves up. It's football at the end of the day, we pick ourselves up and we go again. Only three days before next in action, Concord down here, third of go. a run of four home games. Yeah, we'll, we'll beat them. We need to anyway, yeah, we'll beat them. Oh, we hope so. We yeah. hope so. Old club, so. Yeah. yeah, it is your old club, yeah. isn't it? Of course, we'll yeah, a few up. club club ties there. And many of the players still there, or have they changed it a lot? They've changed it up a lot. I think there's only one, one still there. So, yeah, give it a good go. All right then. Okay, well, good luck, GC night. Right, Let's hope it's a better result. Thank you.